Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to go over what I believe is the best talent and rune combination for dungeon farms into Phase 2 and beyond. For talents, we are going Frost. The key talents here are Permafrost, Improve Blizzard, and Shatter. Now this may surprise you, but for runes, we are going Living Bomb, Living Flame, and Fingers of Frost. I know it's weird to not run regeneration, but stick with me for now. There is an interesting interaction here that may surprise you. Permafrost when combined with Improved Blizzard gives your blizzards an insane slow. The chill effect from Improved Blizzard will proc Fingers of Frost, and each tick of damage has a chance to proc it. As you can see here, it is proccing constantly for me during blizzard channels. Fingers of Frost reads, give your chill effects a 15% chance to grant you Fingers of Frost, which treats your next two spell casts as if they were frozen. This is where the talent Shatter comes into play. Shatter increases the critical strike chance of all of your spells against frozen targets by 10%. So when Fingers of Frost is active, all of your spells have a 10% chance increase to critical strike, not just Frost spells. Now casting Blizzard, Living Flame, and Living Bomb will not consume a charge of Fingers of Frost. However, the explosion from Living Bomb will. This gives your explosions a 10% increased critical strike chance. As you can see in this clip, my living bombs are causing some pretty awesome crit explosions. And this is only with 10%. If we look into the future for phase two and beyond, this is what our talent build will look like. We will have five points into shatter, which will increase our living bomb explosions crit chance by 50%. Historically speaking, mages have always been able to farm without healing. Ice Barrier and Ice Block will be more than enough to keep us alive at level 40. This build is pretty mana intensive, I've only recently been able to do it with my increase in gear. At level 40 with the introduction of Mana Gems, Mage Armor, Rank 3 of Blizzard, Ice Barrier, Ice Block, 5 points into Shatter and Kona Cold, I expect this build will be king. I know almost all mage farms use regeneration right now. But as you can see, I am able to farm Stockage just fine without it. This is the general breakdown of my pools. I dance until I get all the mobs stacked and as close as possible. Then I begin to cast Living Bombs. I usually cast anywhere from 5 to 6 Living Bombs, then Living Flame. After I cast Living Flame, I want to make sure the mobs take the longest route to me as possible. I'll step off the wall to make the mobs run towards me. I'll then step onto the wall and immediately cast Blizzard. If timed right, you'll be able to get a full channeled blizzard off with all of the living bobs exploding during its duration. If lucky with fingers of frost procs, it'll do insane damage. After that, I'll swap to the other wall, giving the mobs time to catch me, while restacking living bombs. You'll want to send out 4-5 to five new living bombs, and then blizzard again just like the first time. Most of the mobs should die during this blizzard channel. You can often finish them with Nova into explosion spam. With Improved Blizzard keeping all the mobs super tight and slowed, you are not only maximizing Living Bomb damage, but Living Flame. When perfectly executed, my pulls are much bigger and I clear faster than I do with Regeneration. I am not sure if I fully recommend this build for everyone Phase 1, as Regeneration is a nice crutch that will save you from a lot of random painful deaths. I do not know if I'll be using the Fingers of Frost build for my 25-40 to speedrun yet, I need to practice it a lot more to decide. I can say though, when I do it perfectly, my runs are faster and my pulls are bigger. It's likely that if I achieve full phase bis, I'll be using this build from 25 to 40. As you are about to watch, I can still clear stockades fast and efficiently. While I do not think this will always be the go-to build for open world farms, this is a powerful alternative that I'll be definitely using for boosting in phase 2. I recommend practicing it now, just in case it is the dominant spec. Up next, you'll watch me doing a few pulls and stockades. If you found this build helpful or interesting, please like and subscribe. If you are watching this video the day it came out, I'll be live streaming on my YouTube channel. I am a game developer, and I own my own indie game studio called Cluck Games. I'll be doing live Unity development of my game Castle Warriors. If this interests you, check out the stream. Take care and best of luck out there, boys.